I'm Jack Buffington for RobotBrigade.com. This is another video in my series of videos about digital logic. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create any logic circuit from just NAND gates or just NOR gates. Let's start out with the NOT gate. With NAND, I'm going to take a two input NAND gate and connect both inputs together and this forms a NOT gate or an inverter. And it's the exact same thing with NOR. Let's look at OR now. Well, NOR is not OR, so if I put an inverter after a NOR, I get OR. So if I have my A and my B, and run them into a NOR, and put an inverter after it, I get OR. Now with NAND, an OR is a little bit more complex. I start out with an inverter on both inputs. Then I run them into another NAND gate like that. So at this point I have A bar, and here I have B bar. And right here I have A bar, B bar, bar. All right, well, that doesn't look like an OR yet, but let's apply De Morgan's theorem. If I apply De Morgan's theorem, I swap the term, or the, I invert the individual terms, then I swap AND for OR. Finally, I invert the entire thing, and now it looks like an OR. All right. Let's take a look at what AND looks like. Well, a NOT AND uh, with an inverter after it is an AND. So it's like the OR for NOR. And to create an AND gate with with NOR, it's wired up like this circuit. So we have A and B, and we have an inverter. Going into another NOR gate. And so let's prove it, A bar and B bar. And we have A bar or B bar bar. That doesn't look like an AND yet, but we'll apply De Morgan's theorem. So we invert the individual terms, swap AND for OR, then invert the entire thing. And if I hadn't just erased part of it, that looks like A AND B. But I'm going to show you one more and this is the exclusive OR. An exclusive OR is like this. So we're going to start out uh, with NAND very much like an OR. So we have an inverter on each one. Coming into another NOR gate. Then we branch off, and if you're not familiar with schematics, when you have a little circle like this, it means that there's a connection of a wire, and when they just cross, there's no connection. So we run that into an OR, or a NAND, and then both of these go into a NAND, and I guess I should have shown the other one first, but this one you have to have one more to invert it. All right, so let's look at this. Right here we have A or B. 
And here I have a b bar. Well, let's bring this over here. A or b, and I'm going to look at the output right there. So that is uh, a b bar. And the whole thing is inverted because of the little inversion bubble. So what I want to do is I want to apply De Morgan's theorem twice in this case. So first I'm going to use it on this term. So we get A or B, and I'm just going to do this uh, without going through the steps. And then uh, I'm going to distribute or multiply through. It's not really multiplication, but so we got A, A bar, uh, a B bar or B A bar and B B bar or B B bar and the whole thing's inverted. This term goes to zero, this term goes to zero and what we have if we drew the tooth ta truth table at this moment is just the opposite of exclusive or. So right now these two terms evaluate to one uh, and uh, but since it's inverted they go to zero so we just need another inverter right here. All right with NOR it's just uh, essentially this circuit without the little inverter. I'm not running off a screen here. But that is what exclusive OR looks like with NAND and OR. So if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more, take a look at my YouTube channel. I'm Jack Buffington for RobotBrigade.com.